We are now on the ninth day of our Navina. Amen. Amen. Which means you have completed these nine masses, nine days of joyful gathering, joyful celebration as a fitting gift to God's love for us, for the gift of His beloved Son. Let us not forget that these nine days, that is our intention, so that we can, in some form or another, make a return to God's generosity. Pagbibi, pagbabalik loob natin sa Panginoon ng, dahil sa kanyang lubos na pagmamahal sa bawat isa sa atin. The love that He generously gives to us. That's why the song today that, was, uh, that we sang speaks of the everlasting love that God has for us. Some, I mean, you don't have to understand the words. You can feel in the music that that is what is being expressed. A love that God has generously bestowed upon us that is everlasting and forever will our hearts speak of it. And I say not just speak of it, but live it in our everyday life. Because we are that testament to God's love. So, unang pagbasa natin, so mula sa libro ni Samuel, yung templo na sinasambit sa pagbasa, pinaalala ng Panginoon kay David na parang para sa akin, pag iniisip ko yung ano eh, sige, sige, huwag mong isipin yung magtatayo ka ng templo Dahil yung templong ninanais ko ay hindi gawa sa bato, kundi sa iyong angkan. That the temple that Samuel, that we hear from the book of Samuel today, is not a temple built on stones, but rather a temple of the people that God has chosen to be His own. That it is through His people that the world will come to know the glory and majesty of God. That it is through His people that He will fulfill His promise through the line of David. That promise of salvation. Let's dwell on that for a moment. Pagnilayan natin ang sandali. So kung yun ang nananais ng Panginoon, siguro magandang tanong natin sa sarili natin, paano ba tayo ang bawat isa sa atin ay nagiging templo ng Panginoon? How, are we become, how do we become a dwelling of the Lord in our everyday life? How do we become a witness and a testimony to this never- Ending everlasting love of God. The joy that we see in Zechariah today is and should not be a surprise. We know the story of Zechariah, we know the story of Elizabeth, that in their old age, not having a son, not having a child, was blessed with John the Baptist. And Zechariah, if you look back a few days ago, he could not believe. And you know what the, the angel Gabriel did? He took his voice because he could not believe the, the blessing that God is bestowing upon him. Sabi ko nga, sana ang Angel Gabriel bisitahin lahat ng mga marites. <laughs> Baka makatulong sa atin. For those who don't know what marites is, it's a, it's a slang in Tagalog about a person who loves to gossip. 
So it's, it's, it's a short for Mare, what's the latest? <laughs> and if there's a, anybody who did, whose name is Marites here, I am sorry. <laughs> it's not intentional. <laughs> But the point here, maybe we should think that maybe our mouth should be really open, not on, on trivial things, but those that speak of God's magnificent work that we are experiencing these, this coming Christmas. That we take a moment to look into how we ourselves demonstrate the kind of joy that we have for this great gift. Alam nyo, masaya pag Pasko eh. Kasi ang mabait ng lahat ng tao. Everybody seems to be nice during Christmas because they want to get, get a good gift from Santa Claus. <laughs> and sometimes we, 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 we behave so nicely, we're so nice, we all smile, we're so joyful. But we have to sort of Think about this, that if there's a point that I want to make tonight, is that it's great that during Christmas we have all of these feelings, we have all these sentiments, we have all these, you know, like joyful moments, you know, great expectations of family gathering together. But the work, the, the, the experience of Christmas is only one day in the year. The celebration of Christmas is only one day. But the work of Christmas is every day. Which means we highlight this great moment that we have. But we also need to remind ourselves that being good should not, should not just be one in time a year. But every moment. That our joy must be manifest not just during Christmas time. Because we have all these like, decorations and everything with the nice lights. Lights that could cause a, an epileptic seizure. <laughs> it, it, let's face it, it just brings the joyful spirit, diba? Right? But just don't look at it directly. <laughs> the point here is that we, how do we make that real and how do we make that true? You know, it's, 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 it's very important that these nine days that we have been preparing this whole season of Advent that we've been in a, in a moment of expectation must not lose its meaning when the season has passed. Like for example, during Christmas time, we love giving gifts. We love exchanging gifts. But let us look into the spirit of giving a gift when we give a gift, it's how we show people how God gives us gifts generously also. Lovingly, unconditionally, no expectation. But at times, when we give gifts, sometimes we give a gift hoping that they will give something to us in return. Maybe of higher value. <laughs> and sometimes when that does not happen, we get angry. That's why sometimes I'm not very happy about exchange gifts. Nagkakatampuhan pa. Because you thought about a great gift, and then you get something that we, uh, what was it, I heard it from a group, a years ago, DKNY, not Donna Karen of New York. It's the that kala na naman yan. <laughs> it's additional clutter. <laughs> so we have to think about that. What is the purpose of our gift giving? It's to show others how we experience God's love and generosity by giving somebody a gift that demonstrates and symbolizes that. When we live during Christmas time, it is, it's, it's a nice season because everything seems to be joyful. We like to sing, we like to, you know, because like a lot of us become nostalgic of all these Christmas carols. And it's, 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 it's great because we feel the spirit. 
But as I said, the work of Christmas is every day of our lives. Imagine what it could be that past the Christmas season, that when we come to Mass, that we continue that joyful participation, joyful manifestation of, of the Spirit that we have. Hindi naman pinanganak si Cristo tapos na wala bigla. Christ, Jesus does not disappear. He continues to be born every day. Not just in our hearts, but in the hearts of others. So imagine what it could be if, if every time we come to Mass, that that same spirit is demonstrated and manifested. Kung papakita natin yung ligaya natin kada pupunta tayo ng misa, baka sabihin na natin, hindi na boring ang misa. Mass will not be boring anymore. Because we mean what we say and we mean what we do. That when we say, and with your spirit, feel mo. You can feel it. Hindi yung automatic lang tayo. Misan, hindi pa nga tayo sumasagot. <laughs> Tapos kung may sumagot ng mali, tinitigan natin. Hindi <laughs> mo alam, hindi ka gumawa ng homework. <laughs> because especially in this time of the year when people are, imagine what it would be like if you're actually doing, be keeping with the spirit of what we do and what we say. Because even past the Christmas season, many who long for the coming of the Lord might find in you the means to have the Lord be born in their hearts. Christmas time is a time when we let go of anything that would hinder us to show God's love. Many of us will be gathering together. Many of us will be eating a meal together. And it would be nice if we truly demonstrate how we also live in our lives the mercy and compassion that God showed to us through the birth of His Son, showing us what He's willing to give and what He's willing to sacrifice in order to show us His mercy, His love, and His forgiveness. Let us let go of whatever that would hinder us to do that. Minsan nga, in my 20 years as a priest, I don't know how many times people have said to me, I don't know why, but that person really irks me. Hindi ko alam. Bugnot ako kung nakikita ko yung tao na yan. Tapos pag tinanong mo, if you ask them, why are you so angry? I don't know something he did in first grade. <laughs> they don't even remember anymore. <laughs> but they just have that feeling. So what's the point? What's the, why, why do we keep that in our, in our, in our hearts? You know, it's like, let, let things be, let the Spirit of God, that Spirit of love, truly flow through us. Baka mas masarap ang kaldereta sa, ano, sa Pasko. Whatever meal you're serving will taste a lot better. To have that. So, things that we experience during this Christmas season, let us think about how we can continue that work of Christmas every day. Because that is what we are supposed to be. That is what we are called to be. Not a, just like not just a, a, a temple built of stones that are dead. But each and every one of us are living stones of that temple of the Lord today. Because each and every one of us have been given the privilege to, to be part of Christ's body. So that we can be that, that testimony, that figure of Christ in our world today that truly needs it. So today, as we conclude these nine days of Novena Masses, we give thanks to God because we have been given the grace to, for many of us, many of you, well, not many of you. I did not complete it this year. So I will not, I, I have, my, my, my chances of winning the lotto is gone. <laughs> but the point here is that we give thanks for, even if we did not complete it, every effort that we made today is a gift that we are giving to God 
in gratitude for his love for us. And we pray that each and every one of us, as we go through these, the next few days, next few weeks, next few months, that the joy and the spirit of the season will continue because the work of Christmas is every day of our lives. Amen. Amen.